This is Synthesite's online web builder and mashup tool. We're going to create a new project to create a mashup out of widgets for an electronics store that accesses Yahoo, contacts PC World for the most popular gadgets and allows users to interact and search for the electronics they want. Here, we're creating a new page template that will be used for the entire site that will consist of several pages, a landing page, a, uh, a search page, search details, and product details. But first, we create the template. And uh, this is all visual assembly, drag and drop, uh, with property sheets to allow an almost infinite level of custom customization. Now, the, uh, we're selecting colors for uh, the different parts of the page, the background. And now we're going to add a flash control, an animated flash header that will be used on the top of each application that will have the um, visual display screen for the top of each page for the actual store itself. So the, um, we're changing some settings there so that we don't see uh, extraneous visual items. And now we're going to configure it, the actual flash header, the information that we want to see, including the name of the store. So now you can see here that uh, a flash animation header has been added. We're going to configure that using the property sheets inside Synthesite's Web Builder tool. Select the property there of the name of the company, which we'll put Acme Electronics. We'll go ahead and say that's OK. And so instead of what would normally take uh, some programming or configuration, we're just doing it through property sheets. And I have the Acme Electronics header for the application. Now we're going to drop in some search widgets so that uh, we have at the top of each page and at the bottom below the fold a search panel, which uh, is really it's a, it's another widget made up of other widgets. So it's a composite uh, element on the page. So you can see that there's different buttons and icons and input boxes. And we're going to put it both above and below. So you'll see it here again. And this is, again, the template for the whole website that we're creating, the whole e-commerce site that we're creating out of elements, reusable elements, including Yahoo Web Services and um, PC World's um, popular items page. And we added another widget there that has some boilerplate text that you typically want to see on any given site. And then we're going to save all of that and start creating the main pages for the site. So the next section is the actual landing page for Acme Electronics, the first thing they see when you go to the website. So this is what they call the index page. And of course, what comes up initially is the items that we just created in the previous screen. And uh, now we're going to start dragging and dropping some of the elements. This is the category menu. It's a widget provided by Yahoo. You see on the left here that it drops right in. And now we're going to configure it. Instead of all of the different types of items that, that Yahoo Store offers, we're going to narrow the category select selection down to electronics and camera. So you can see there's a lot of items there. And we can actually expand that and see the items in there. What we'll do is uh, click OK and say that's uh, what we want to restrict it to. And that's it. So not much work to do to get the entire um, category menu item in there. You see that the subcategories have just changed to everything under electronics and camera. Now we're going to add a user-defined widget. It's a widget that, um, that uh, the creator of this application, it's not from Yahoo, it's just something that has some of the hot new gadgets and some, some clip art there that looks good. And so that um, you can put uh, the, the, uh, the items that are most interesting at the, uh, at the time, and the user can just change this. Again, no, no web designer or, or web developer required. Now we've added a um, most popular widget from Yahoo, so we can feed back some of the collective intelligence of the Yahoo website into this e-commerce site. And now we're going to add a new item over here on the right. This is PC from PC World. It's an RSS feed widget that um, we can see here that pulls the content from the PC World site and then syndicates it on this application. Again, all drag and drop and uh, already pre-configured. We're going to reduce the number of items so that there's not so many, just the first 15. Let's scroll down there and 
you can see the uh, see it doesn't go all the way down. So we're also going to ab uh, advertise, put least advertisements on the site, so you know, monetize that front page. And you see there's just a few too many items there, so we need to make an adjustment um, here in a moment to the, uh, the number of items that appear in sponsored links. But you can see we're almost done building the index page. Uh, we have the, uh, the, even the search at the bottom, which is what came from the template that we created in the previous step. We're going to change some of these items here so that, uh, see, now the, now the bottom line is up. But we now have a very clean, very professional-looking site uh, based on widgets, predefined pieces of content. That, can, that are you know, mobilized off of other sites like Yahoo that we can wire together into the application that we need. So now we're on to, to, to the, uh, the third step. We're going to create the, um, the search results page. So when you select something on the main page that uh, it brings the items in here. And uh, what we're going to do now Let's go ahead and bring in another widget. This is the search results widget from Yahoo. Again, I want to stress that these could be widgets from anywhere on the web. There are a growing number of widget libraries from for many high-value sites. Uh, and while Yahoo is used extensively in this demo, it could be anything from Amazon to Google or any other site. And it can be a visual widget or just purely an information-based API or applications programming interface. So that was the... Uh, that was the search. That was the entire. All the work done for the search results page is just done there. So as you, uh, well as you see this working here in the next section. Now we're finally creating the product details or the catalog page. So that as you see the items that come back in search, that um, you can then drill down on each individual item and see that. So we're creating a multi-page e-commerce site, all with drag and drop, with high production values, out of reusable components from the rest of the web. So unlike regular web builders uh, or many web builders that uh, require you to provide all the content information, uh, we're, we're building a very high-value application out of the parts of other major successful sites so we can reuse the best that's out there to provide the best web experience for the users of this site. So you can see most of the, the elements have been added there for um, details, and now we're going to take a look at the result. We're just about near the done, done here. The, the, the total clock time has been about eight minutes from beginning to end, from no templates, uh, no pages, to having a complete and working operational website, all built and running and hosted on Synthesite. So you'll see that uh, we can, we'll drill down on, on one of these subcategories of electronics here, and it'll automatically navigate to the next page and show all of the results they came back there, and uh, they have a breadcrumbs feature. So the navigation is a site navigation icon that we just highlighted there a moment ago. And as we go through these different items, at some point here, we'll, what we'll do is drill down and see that as we look at one of these uh, items that we'll then navigate from there to the details page, pulling all the information and, of course, Yahoo's widgets make it very easy so they can talk to each other and navigate from one to the other. I want our zip code here to calculate the total cost of that item intelligently. So we get accurate quotes from all the different merchants that offer this product. And so while any type of website of any kind, web applications and websites, both can be made from widgets from um, all the different varieties of, of widgets that are out there, you see that Synthesite's online web builder is one of the cleanest, most effective, uh, most usable tools currently.